Hi, this is Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, first off, I want to explain something about the previous episode. We had some technical difficulties and it wasn't finished up to the quality we would have liked it to have done before it was um, sent out into the wide world. Um, but I have had reports that it was hilariously done, so um, hope you had a good laugh on us. Um, going forward, we're going to try and improve our quality of programming and technical stuff to produce a better video. Um, and in so doing that, we're going to have to cut down on the amount of videos we produce each week. So we're going to go down to three to four on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and a possible bonus over the weekend if we get chance. Now, referring to the super speeded video regarding this book here, we um, need, I've learned a few lessons doing this book, let's just say that. Now, my first lesson I learnt was I used this value craft blue. Um, which is great, but because I put had to use so much on it, it didn't dry very well and the pages are peeling open again. And I'm not quite sure quite what went wrong there. Um, but I think maybe the glue was just too wet and wasn't drying enough. And it's been a couple of days since I put any glue on it and it's just peeling open so it may not have been man enough for the task um it is a fairly cheap glue so maybe that's the reason um so i have experimented and the same with this it's not not gluing down very well i have experimented with using a little bit of prit stick glue um stick glue and that has seemed to have got a lot better it's not warped the pages so much um, and I've learned a few other lessons going forward, which I'll explain as I go along. So, to this new book, this was a good experiment and it was worth doing, um, considering it's a charity book and I've still got a major pile of papers that I can use. So, that's, it's not a waste. Um, but I will try and retrieve it and we'll see where we go with that. I'll have to think on it. But in the meanwhile, I've glued probably about 10, 11 pages at the moment on either end. And I've used crit stick. And it is folding a lot. I mean, this hasn't really had much chance to dry either. And it's not nearly so warped. And it's not... Um, you know, it's laying flatter on the page. So each time I do, I'll show you, each time I do a page, and I'm alternating from the front to the back, so it gives it a chance to dry between pages. So I'm just putting a, an ad hoc switching in there, because it doesn't have to be 100% secure running my hand across the top of the page just to keep the book flat. Now, the other mistake I made doing this one, which is was quite an important one, I think, is I cut out the hole first before I started gluing the top and the bottom bits. Now, at the moment, I have the pressure in the center of the book to help me fold the pages or hold the pages flat. With the hole in the middle, I didn't have that. So that could have contributed to the warping as well. So that's another lesson I've learned during this particular model of the, what we're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna to go to the back now and do one on the back. So if you alternate and also make sure you fold it back so it, it opens the pages right up so you can get right into the 
spine. So, do a few of these, bring it, and then bring it from the spine out, and that will help keep it flat. And as I say, you haven't got that dent in the middle where you did have in the other book. So that's another lesson I've learnt. Now, I don't want to be too thick on the top, and I don't want to be too thick on the base. I want the the depth, really, of the book to be my opening to put my treasures in. So, I'll do a few more pages. And we might speed up some of this during these pages so that we're not keeping you too long. Um, so far I've used half of one small print stick. Now it will eat up your glue because obviously you're doing page by page and depends on how big your book is as to how many pages you're going to be gluing. Um, so you will need plenty of print stick on hand or a blue stick of your choice but I wouldn't advise like with this hobby craft value glue um, if you get a value one you may not get the stick to -itiveness, if that's even a word you know you, you might not get the adhesion that's the word I was looking for um, that you need and it may peel open again so best to, to go for a, not necessarily even a branded but a A glue that's gonna that you you're um, trusting that's the word you trust if you trust the glue to stick then you're okay I trust Prit stick because I've used it a lot um, and it is a decent brand but there are other glues like you who and I can't remember some of the others but there are lots of other brands out there So some of the, the children's glues probably not, not good enough for this sort of project, I would say. So just been watching a couple of robins playing in the garden. Um, and we've got the daffodils coming out, so that makes the garden look pretty and cheerful. Bobbing about in the breeze at the moment. It's quite pretty. Okay, so let me see. We I've still got the pages look as if they're opening, which is what we wanted, so that you know it pulls people into thinking you know it's a, a real book. Well, it is a real book, but it's just a, an altered book, I suppose you could call it. So coming here. Now I think this top is probably thick enough now. It's not um too bendy, but you don't you know you want to get your depth in there. And same with the base. It's not too bad. I mean you could go thicker if you wanted to. Um it, it's you plan your pages how you'd like them to be. Uh, now, previously, I cut out the wording on the page, basically. But as I got through the book, I found it difficult with these bits flapping to get right into the corners and etc etc so I'm going to try this time to do a couple of pages at a time glue them then go to the next bit and build it up but I'm going to go from the back so I will glue onto the base um, 
I also used bulldog clips previously and I don't know if that helped or hindered because they tend to warp the book a little bit because you're putting pressure on areas so it's difficult to tell right what I'm going to do is get a bit of card and what it is so that you know that that's where you're cutting down to because you don't want to be cutting into your base it's just a thin bit of card but colorful paper will do just so that you know where you're working down to and I'm going to be just quick sticking around the edges on a few sheets say gluing not print sticking because it depends on what glue you've got. That's two pages. I need to pull your pages out from the spine to get them level. Let's make glue up a little bit more. So we're going to go on to the time lapse now and uh, you can watch me play. So during this section you'll see me cutting the um, opening in the book. Um, I've used the blocks of writing um, text to give me a guide of where to cut. Um, initially I was using blocks and gluing them to the base, so gluing five um, to eight pages together and then gluing them down onto the base but that was making it very rigid so we worked out that um, if we kept the five to eight pages together as a block and kept going and then glued them in afterwards that, that worked out a lot better um, and it gave me more flexibility um, while actually cutting out um, the only thing I would say about that is you do have a hollow um, to cut into so you have to make sure you you can feel the actual hole underneath the pages so that's, that's a good thing in a way because um, you can feel where you need to cut um, but you need to make sure that the book is upright on the bit that's not being cut um, that's why I have the other book behind it to support it. Um, I use the craft knife and a metal ruler this time rather than the plastic ruler because the plastic ruler was slipping. Um, the, I got through two small glue sticks and half a large glue stick um, and I think that the project is a little expensive in equipment maybe than usual but it's well worth it for a gift or something so you you know you can make it for a Mother's Day present or a Father's Day gift even put some couplings in some earrings or whatever um, you know whoever you're giving it to would like um, and it, it's uh, keep your keys in it you can keep your diary in it keep that nice and secret um, give it to your sister and keep it away from your little brother or whatever so you know there's lots of different ideas you can get in there um, you can use a hard pack book also but I, I haven't tried one I think it would work and I think the spine may be a little bit easier because it, it's not so um, squishy um, might make it easier to cut I'll have to have a go at that another time So um, in the end I glued the blocks together and um, added some magnets. I think that's, uh, we're just about there now and I'll see you in the next section. And we're back from the time lapse. Okay, so as I explained um, on my voiceover, we used blocks um, to our advantage and that made it a lot straighter compared to one using the wet glue which is still making it look very stained and warped and whatever 
uh, <laughs> not looking very pretty. So I will try and rescue that, but I'm not quite sure at the moment how we will do that. But we've made a nice little box in the middle, a nice flap coming down. And if you put it in a bookcase, you wouldn't know any different. You might if you saw it front on, but even then it's not blatantly obvious. So I'm really happy with the results of that. Um, what would I change? At the moment, probably not a lot, um, apart from doing the blocks from the start. Um, I did from about here. Hello, little. I think you need to go off the desk, darling, because I can't produce a book. <laughs> Idy hole with you sat there. Thank you. Um, so the next step now is to line the little cubby hole, and I am denied as what I was going to line it with. Um, and we've selected some fabrics. Um, so I'm going to do a pink base, and. I'm going to line it with this pretty ribbon around the sides, giving my blue and pink colours. So now I've measured the bottom from the opening, so it may not be 100% accurate, for three and a quarter by five and a half, and that's the square I've cut out here. So I'm going to cut, not cut out, measured out, sorry. I'm going to use my fabric scissors to cut down here and down here. I hope that is a good measurement. On your right. No, there's a little bit of a crease in there, but that should flatten out once it's glued down. Um, for this, I'm going to put it in just to test it. I think that fits in there nicely. Yeah, it's going to fit in there beautifully. So I'm just going to use a little bit of fabric glue. Um, this is Hobbycraft fabric glue. much to say about it really it's washable non-toxic and permanent so give that a little shake down to the end unfortunately I broke the nozzle off the top of it so I'm going to decant it into another bottle at some stage be all right for the moment just get the glue out there Oh. oh dear. I don't think she wants to be moved from the desk. Use my cookie tool. Um, open up the glue. I think Little's a bit of a diva. She uh, wants to be in on the act. Right, so I'm not going to use too much glue, just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to use my spatula to even it out. So it's not too um, thick. And I'm going to put some around the sides as well to help the sides um, stabilise. I think that's probably thin enough now. Uh, put my liner 
and shift it into place. Sticky here now. Right, so we have a pink base. So that's all in nicely. I don't want to get it all over my nice pretty ribbon. Now then, the ribbon I want to put on some card and then do the edges with the card because if I put it inside um, as it is, it's going to be too floppy so it needs to have something to back it with. Now, um, because we've got five and a half five and a half I'm going to do two five and a half one inch deep layers so we're doing one inch three points to get the straight line otherwise you could go wonky gives you a double check or triple check as to your measurement right not those ones get rid of those ones i don't want to use those by mistake where's my other scissors for me bigger ones out Right way up, that would help. Okay, so then I want five and a half. I can trim the top, it's a little, little high, so I'm going to trim the side. I 
need to clean my ruler afterwards as well. It's got to be gunked up. Everything's getting gunked up the glue now. Yeah, this, this project can be a little bit messy. Um, excuse the, the cat in the background. She's objecting to being evicted. doesn't want to go and join the others. It's possibly the reason she's getting a little bit upset. That's my five and a half again. That'll be down my other long side. Now the other one's three and a quarter, but because we've done would have done the sides either side, we may need to make it a little bit shorter, but we can measure that in. This needs trimming out on the corners a little bit. to the book in a minute, Cat. Got a little bit of glue on here. I didn't put glue on the back part of it because um, there was already glue there. So we'll turn off the end here. Because the um, inside of this is slightly uneven, it's going to adhere in some places, not necessarily in others, but once it's dry, it should be stable enough to box in. It's fine. Okay, so we've got that one. That's not quite long enough, but what a shame. We'll use them for something else. So, three and a half. Do our inch. Put it down and I need to. Okay then. One. But 
we got to allow for expansion, so I'm going to do it between three and a quarter and three and a eight. My fingers are all gunked up. Oh dear. So it's beginning to dry, that's good. That up on that side. Right, so we need another one that size. And we've got the edge of the lining in. Let's do another in. This is just normal, normal thick card, um, standard thickness card, uh, standard as you can get. Oh, the ruler has gone. Hang on, it's gonna stand on my head. Oh, okay, I'm back. Illusion. Everything's definitely going to need a good clean up. The scissors are sticky, my fingers are sticky. Don't think I'll need that card anymore, but I'll put it to one side just in case. because you want to measure it first, don't you?
product aligned. Let's make sure it closes up. Yep, it's closed up okay. Now, I've cut my ribbon a little over, well, it's probably more 18 inches because I had the five and a half and the five and a half, which made 11, the three and a quarter and a three and a quarter, which made six and a half. So that made 17 and a half, which I've done another half inch just to make sure that I can go all the way around. I might need to trim it or I might just overlap it. Now this is how we're doing so far. Nice pink base and a neutral background. Now, these edges aren't dry yet. I'm going to take a chance. Um, put my ribbon in now I need to make sure the bumblebees are the right way up and I'm going to start in the back corner now I'm thinking I should be able to get away with using um, my kalal top and bottom so that needs to be decanted into something else which I'll have to do another time so if I do a colour top and bottom, I don't want the glue to show through on the ribbon, that's why I'm being a bit cautious with this glue. Because uh, I don't want blocks. Put it in the bracket ground. I have um, used my lighter on the ends of the um, ribbon just to stop them fraying. I think you've seen that trick before on previous episodes. I literally just hold my um, gas lighter up to the edge of the ribbon and let it. Uh, melt at the ends. I'm very cautiously picking this up, trying not to get the fingers all over it. I'm going to set it onto the back. Now, try and wrap it evenly. Fly every which way anyway, so there we go. right. So I have got a bit of overlap. Oh, quite a bit of overlap. Oh, that's fine. Tuck in that 
So we have our liner in. It's a little bit wibbly wobbly. It will be a little bit wibbly wobbly because of the um, slight angles of the pages where it was cut. But I think that's in there quite nicely. It's just tough. <coughs> Now, if it starts coming away from the sides a little bit, you can always add a little bit more glue. But I think once it's dry, I think it'll be fine. Um, I can just go in with the kalal just at the top there, just to. Um, but my fingers are a bit sticky, so every time I touch the ribbon, it's sort of pulling it away at the moment. So I want to let everything dry and then come back to it if I need to. Now, the final bit is because this lifts up a little bit, I want to try and put a magnet to hold it so my idea was to have a tiny bit of this magnet on each end and possibly one in the middle anyway, and we need them to be smaller we need them to close onto each other. That's repelling. That holding. Make sure they're the right way around. Right, that's holding. Okay, so that 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 bit and that bit go together. Okay, so that's there. So the clear um the darker side to the darker side. Go to the dark side. No, that's not working. That's that is working, but it's repelling. It's going on. Which way around do they go? Not going to work. So why is that not working? That's bizarre. That's repelling. Instead of very twisting in the back. Ah, so. It's holding. So what I need to do now is I wanted to push them in at a hole, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cut a hole in the top here as easily, but we'll give it a try. So we need to just draw around each magnet and the place we think we're going to need it. Don't need a very deep hole. Keep the pairs together. Crafty back again. Yeah. 
so we're sort of counter sinking the magnets if you like. Trying to cut the edge of the book. I think because the glue's a little bit damp still, it's not as uh, helpful as it could be. Right there, if we get there, we get there. Get in that corner. Okay, well there. It's going to stick a little bit of glue on these edges so that they don't her up. So. I think, well, well, now which way are we doing it? That way? Yeah, that goes to that one, so that's going to go that way down. It's going to be face up, okay. Stick that one in there. That is as flush as I'm going to get it to the book. Now uh, we might speed some of this little bit action shots up a little bit because it's going to take me a little while to get into the cutting them. Meanwhile the ribbon can be drying. Really? And then we'll be show you the finished result. That one belongs to that one so that back on there.
So we've got three counter sack. That to be steep against one, I don't think. Come out the other side, do I? I don't want to come out the other side. I might have to put these on the top because it's going to have to... I reckon it's not deep enough and it's taken up the side of the paper. I don't think it's on the side of the paper. So for the future, what if we do another one? We do a really big one at some point. Once we've done some smaller, if we wanted to do that, um, we'll make sure A, we get some actual magnets beforehand mm. and B we make sure we measure how the top needs to be <laughs> for this. That's not too bad is this. Okay so my magnets aren't as strong as I'd hoped they'd be um, and they're still not holding it but I'm hoping that with uh, a bit of weight on the book and let it dry completely we might be better i might have to switch out a stronger magnet or find another closure but that is the general idea countersink the magnets and then you don't have them showing on the top of the um the book uh sorry on the side of the book so it doesn't pucker your pages, so to speak. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this. It was fun doing it. And um, we will... <laughs> a couple of times. We just need to find some treasure to put inside. Much love, everybody. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.